Welcome back to the garage guys. Today we're putting out a video that many of you have been waiting for a very, very long time. We're finally releasing the JD's Garage THC and the voltage divider that goes hand in hand with the JD's Garage plasma cutter. In today's video, we're going to explain why almost nobody needs this THC. Uh, everyone thinks they need it, but almost nobody needs it. I was reading on one of our competitors' websites a few months ago, and it said a THC is the most valuable tool you can add to a CNC plasma cutter. The next sentence said a THC is the most misused item on a CNC plasma cutter. And we can verify firsthand experience that this was true with all of our beta testing that went on. Some people had no issues and said the thing was great. And other people just couldn't get it to work. A portion of this video is sponsored by PCB Way. More about them later in the video. From the emails and questions we get, a lot of you feel that a THC is going to solve your problems with poor cuts, bad cuts, excess lag. That's not really the case. A THC works on consistency or garbage in, garbage out. Good in, good out. And that's how a THC works. So today we're going to show you a number of cuts, good and bad, without the THC. And then we're going to show you the same cut with the THC and what it does. Also, over the last year and a half, we've been getting hundreds of emails of you guys requesting our cut parameters. We've been very, we've been very reluctant to share those things. And it's not for a reason that they're proprietary or they're secret. It's because we need you to develop your own parameters. So when you add the THC, you know how to do that. Because if you can't develop your parameters, this THC is not gonna do you any good. You have to have good parameters to start with and this will maintain consistency. That's what a THC does. So we're gonna go make some of these cuts. We're gonna go along here, make some good cuts, some bad cuts, turn on the THC and show you what it does and show you what it doesn't do. Cut one, 30 amps. Thirty five PSI. Cut three, four thousand millimeters a second. Cut four, normal parameters, torch too high. Normal normal parameters. So if you take a look at our four cuts, we'll start from the beginning or the end. This was our baseline cut, very nice cut with our current parameters. If we look at this cut, it's too high. Look at the kerf size. You know, that's one where we did normal parameters, but torch too high. This one, we were running too fast and you can see how we didn't get a very nice cut. This cut, we ran with low PSI, did not get a very nice cut. And this one, we can see how narrow the kerf is, and right there, we don't really cut through. We didn't have enough amperage, so we've got four bad cuts and one good cut, and all this was running with the THC in idle mode. We're now gonna run these same five cuts with the THC in active mode based on the baselines that each one of these created. So we were watching the THC, you saw it in the video. We're gonna set the THC to those values and see what happens. Cut one with THC. Cut two with THC. Cut three with THC. Cut four with THC. Cut five with normal settings, with THC. Cut 
So if we take a look at the same five cuts again, guys, uh, the first four were bad. There's really not a lot of difference and they might have even got worse using the THC. Um, the fourth cut that is too high, it kind of stabilized it, a little less slag, but you can see between the, the good parameter and the bad, or the good parameters, it made slightly a bit of difference to THC. It gave us some consistency. You know, we don't have this slag up here. It's not popping out. So the THC makes a difference once you have your cuts established. But it's not going to take a bad cut and turn it into a good cut. So what does the THC do for us? Well, if we take a look at this, you should have saw it in the video. But look at this metal. Our slats are so wore out in our bed. There's a lot of play in here. Look at that metal. So as it's cutting, and this metal's moving, the THC is going to correct for that. So you don't have to have a flat bed. You don't have to worry about your arm having a droop in it. You don't have to worry about any of that. The THC will compensate for that. That's the advantage of it. It'll look at the height. It'll keep a constant height once you have a good baseline. You know, so we don't worry about our metal being flopping. Or look at look at over in this corner. It's just there's probably got to be a quarter inch. We don't worry about that. We just throw it on, and away we go. Uh, but you have to have the good baseline set up for each type of metal. So how do you come up with a good parameter so your THC is running off of correct data? Well, in one of our very earliest videos where the machine did its first cuts, one of our followers gave us a, gave us a tip. And they said, you run max voltage, excuse me, max amperage, per the size of tip you have in. And you run your PSI right near the top too. So we're always running 65 to 70 PSI. Always, we never change that. But we do change tips, nozzle sizes. We use a 0 0.6, a 0 0.8, a 0 0.1, and sometimes a 0 0.9 or a 0 0.1, 0 0.1, depending upon what's available or what we can get for tip size. But if we're using a, a 0 0.6, we're running at 30 amps, almost always. If we're running a 0.8, we're running at 40 to 45 amps. If we're running a point or a one millimeter, we're running at 50 amps to 55. We rarely change that. The only thing we change is the speed. The speed will change based on thickness of metal. So when do we use a when do we use each tip? Under eighth inch, we use a 0.6. From an eighth to a quarter, we use a 0.8, and over a quarter, we use a 0.1, or excuse me, a one millimeter. So, and the only thing we do is change speed within those ranges. Now, the other thing, you have to develop a height. And generally speaking, for the height above the metal, Jackson, what do we go? A milli millimeter, two millimeters? About a sixteenth of an inch, and you can fine tune it from there. Yeah, start out about a sixteenth of an inch, so a millimeter and a half uh, above the metal, and go from there. So one of the things that our THC has is it has an idle mode, and that's what we did when we made this first set of cuts. We cut it in idle mode so we could watch the voltage, and that's how our unit is intended to be run. You watch the idle voltage across a cut like this and you pick what you think is the average and that's what we did. We looked at these, then in the second cuts we recut with the same parameters and we set to the average voltage that we observed. And then we went ahead and did the cuts. So once we've established that THC value for eighth inch metal, we run it at about 88 voltage for our setup, um, we never need to change that. It's pretty constant all the time. We stick it on, it's always 88. Now, Jackson will look once in a while with a welding hood uh, and look at it while it's cutting and he'll go, oh, it's a, little, it's a little bit too close today. And we'll just hit pause on the job and he'll turn, he'll adjust the voltage correctly by one or two volts to make it go up or down if he thinks it's a little too high or too low. Uh, what causes that? I don't know. It could be the variations of thickness of metal. It could be the cleanliness of metal. It could be how wore out your tip is. It could be a lot of variables, but we rarely change that baseline more than a more than a volt or two once we have it established. PCBA offers a PCB manufacturing service 
It allows you to upload your own designs, have them made and sent directly to your door where you can install the components yourself and have your own custom circuits. Simply upload the design for review and wait for a quote or changes that need to be made to your design. We used them several times throughout the process of developing the torch height controller and they were great to work with throughout the process. They kept us updated with our order status and were very clear about their manufacturing capabilities and informed us about designs they were not able to make. Also, if your circuit requires small components or you are ordering a lot of them, they even offer an assembly service so you can have your circuits working immediately once they reach your door. So guys, when you get your THC dialed in for a particular uh, type of metal, you know, we've been able to cut this corrugated metal very well. We've also had some of our testers uh, repeat this thing. So it, it, the THC works very, very well. We're gonna do a little thing here. We, got, we need a part for an upcoming project. So we're gonna cut it out without the THC. We're gonna cut it out with the THC. And then we're gonna jack this up about a quarter inch or something on this end and uh, cut it again with the THC and we're gonna compare the parts. So we've got some parts we need for an upcoming project. We're gonna cut the first part here with in idle mode. We're gonna cut the second part with THC. And then the third part, I'm gonna take these three plates uh, three eighths of an inch and I'm going to set them underneath here to get a slant in the metal and we're going to see how each one of the parts does. So without THC, with THC, and THC on a slant. go guys we've got the cuts done um, if we take a look here you know very nice cut without the THC very nice cut with the THC so see you don't need a THC if you got your machine set properly looks good looks good and here's the one on the bevel you can see how far it was out of whack it fell down about a quarter inch or more and again Another nice cut. So, do you need a THC? Probably not, but I know you all want one. Well guys, we taking a look at the THC. You know, we've got the uh, no THC, pretty good cut, not a lot of draws, uh, looks good. With the THC on flat metal, uh, another nice cut, not a lot of difference. And the THC on an angled cut, pretty good cut. Nice, nice uh, thing. So, you know, parts that small, for sure, probably a THC is not needed. You know, we cut some bigger parts out the other day, getting ready for a new project. Um, we did had some bed lines bent up, real nice cuts. I don't know, Jackson, if you can grab that and zoom in, bring it up to the camera, look at the cuts on the edge. Uh, real nice cuts we're getting with the machine. So, take a look at it. One thing I wanted to note on the screen, on the THC that we were showing along with a lot of our cuts is the, uh, is the voltage display, the actual voltage. We are only refreshing that voltage a couple times a second. Uh, behind the scenes, it's programmable. You can re refresh and react and correct up to 200 times a second. Uh, one, one time a second to 200 times. We run about 50. Uh, times a second. So even though the screen's only updating once in a while, the torch is reacting a whole bunch faster than what you're seeing on the screen. It just from code wise and memory wise, it made sense to, to do it like that. Well guys, there's a look at the JD's Garage THC that we've developed. We're very happy that we've been able to get this thing uh, worked out. It's been a long project, been about a year and a half for us to finally be able to offer it to you guys. So we're, we're pretty proud of that. We had to get the bugs worked out. We had a few bridges to cross and a, and a few uh, business items on our end to take care of. So we're happy that we're finally able to offer it. Uh, make sure to stick around to the channel because we've got a couple new projects that are gonna be coming out this uh, in the next few months over the summer. Compared to this THC, a uh, little different type of project, but it's something I know you're all gonna enjoy. It's, it's a big project, I'll just let that uh, slip out of my tongue there. So with that, make sure to like and subscribe.